Tennis and expensive watches go hand in hand. In fact, Wimbledon has used a Rolex watch as its official timekeeper since 1978. Every other major tennis pro has landed an endorsement deal with a luxury timepiece brand. In this video, we're going to learn more about the top tennis players in the world and the expensive watches they continue to wear at professional competitions. From Roger Federer and Rolex to Serena Williams and Audemars Piguet, here's a look at some of the most expensive watches owned by tennis players. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm. Okay, let's go. Number 8. Andy Murray the Wimbledon champion from 2013 and 2016 reportedly makes £1 million a year to wear Rado timepieces. He typically makes the right decision and wears the Hyper Chrome model on the court. However, the last time he won at the All England Club, he got in trouble after his thrilling victory. Murray forgot that the watch needed time to wind up and become comfortable on the wearer's wrist when he strapped it on to please his sponsors, that indicated he was captured in winning mode about five hours before the game. <laughs> Andy Murray and Rado collaborated to make the D-Star 200 watch. The 42-44 stainless steel case of the Rado D-Star 200 has a thin blue-black ceramic bezel. The Valjou Calibre 7753, also known as the AO5H31, which powers the chronograph, has a greater power reserve than the original Valjou movement. Murray's watch has a water resistance level of about 200 meters because Rado watches were initially created for diving. Number 7. Caroline Wozniacki The former world number one, who has now retired, has been a client of Rolex since 2010, who acquired her at the beginning of her rise to prominence. And when she defeated Simona Halep in the Australian Open to win her first Grand Slam title in 2018, she flaunted a sparkling Rolex Daytona with a paved diamond dial and a baguette diamond cut bezel. Ugh. Amazingly, that watch is worth £113,950. If you can get your hands on that one, not bad. The first time Caroline Wozniacki bought a watch for her collection, she claims it was a stainless steel Rolex Daytona. She has stated that the watch holds sentimental value for her, and that she still views it as one of her favourite accessories. She also owns a diamond-encrusted Rolex Datejust, and she has previously stated that she enjoys adding diamonds to her timepieces. Caroline also owns a limited edition Rolex Datejust 36 white gold royal with a zebra paved diamond dial that she's proud to wear unsurprisingly. She likes to collect difficult-to-find watches because she likes a good challenge. Number 6. Novak Djokovic One of the best players in the history of tennis has some watch collection. The brand Seiko currently supports Djokovic, and the relationship has been very fruitful to both ends. The Seiko Sportura, the Seiko Premier Novak Djokovic Special Edition SNP126PL, and the numerous other watches with unique names or editions have been created by Seiko. The current world number one in men's single tennis has been supported by Japanese watchmaker Seiko since 2014. A few years after the brand introduced its groundbreaking Astron Solar GPS watch, Novak Djokovic was their best choice to sport it. Shortly after, Seiko launched the exclusive Novak Djokovic Limited Edition Aston timepieces. This partnership witnessed Djokovic wear a selection of various watches from Seiko according to his lifestyle, from Seiko's Sportura chronograph when he is training to the premier kinetic perpetual for ceremonial functions. He has often mentioned why these watches are his first preference. Number 5. Alexander Zverev Both the world of professional tennis and watches are relatively new to Alexander Zverev. However, in the upcoming years, you can anticipate seeing a lot more of him. At the age of just 19, Richard Mill has signed the German wonder kid as an ambassador. It was all thanks to his friend Nadal who suggested Zverev to Mill, referring to him as the game's future. He frequently wore the RM2701, also known as the original Nadal watch from the beginning. He also liked the improved RM2703, then in 2018, Zverev acquired the RM6702, the result of their joint effort. 
Zverev's resembles Nadal's model, in which he displays the hues of his nation's flag. However, Richard Mill's inventiveness is still evident in the strap's design. The brand new elastic comfort band strap has a unique weave and reinforced elasticity. Without a buckle or a type of closure, it fits the wrist's contours perfectly. The RM6702 is made of incredibly light, durable carbon quartz TPT, weighing only 32 grams, making it both lightweight and durable. He matches the straps to his attire and wears it on the court as well. Number 4. Stan Wawrinka In 2013, Stan Wawrinka became an ambassador for Audemars Piguet. Unlike Richard Mill, the brand does not design its models with play in mind. Wawrinka, though, is known for sporting his watch while playing. The Royal Oak Offshore is his go-to watch. At some of his most significant victories, he was seen wearing a variety of models. For instance, in 2015, he won the French Open while sporting the reference 26470ST. A year later, he celebrated his first victory at the US Open by flaunting a specifically made Royal Oak Offshore. Stan the Man Wawrinka, the Swiss player who defeated Novak Djokovic, the top-ranked player in the world, has also wore an Audemars Piguet on his wrist. However, it seems that he may no longer be a brand ambassador for the coveted watch company. Number 3. Rafael Nadal It was 2008 when the well-known watchmaker Richard Mill asked tennis pro Rafael Nadal to wear a watch on the court. What happened from the flourishing partnership was the creation of the lightest and most delicate tourbillion in the world at the time. Rafael Nadal said, Richard came to my house and showed me the model, saying, This is the watch that we've made for you. The watch was in platinum, so very heavy. I was very confused and didn't realize he was joking. As soon as I tried on the real watch, I loved it. We were on the same wavelength. The watch is now like a second skin for me, expressed Nadal. Rafael Nadal has partnered with Richard Mill for over 10 years now, most recently making headlines for modeling the Richard Mill RM2704 tourbillion on his right wrist when he achieved his 20th Grand Slam title at the French Open. The making of the tourbillion, a technical marvel that weighs only 30 grams and can withstand shocks of about 12,000 G, was inspired by the strings on a tennis racket. Number 2. Serena Williams it makes perfect sense that Serena Williams, a former world number one in women's singles tennis, would team up with Audemars Piguet, a member of the holy trinity of high-end watchmaking. Since their partnership became official in 2014, the renowned tennis player has adorned the brand. She has been seen rocking the most exceptional timepieces, from the rose gold Royal Oak Offshore chronograph when she won her 22nd Grand Slam, to the stainless steel Royal Oak Offshore chronograph with a diamond bezel at the 2019 Wimbledon Championships. Another fun fact about her, during the match Williams wore her watch backwards, probably to prevent the crown and pushers from piercing her wrist. One of the very few brand ambassadors who wears her watch while playing tennis is player Serena Williams. While playing, she has been seen sporting the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak and Royal Oak offshore timepieces, giving the game her distinctive flair. Number 1. Roger Federer Tennis legend Roger Federer, a Rolex ambassador since 2011, is never seen entering the court without an exceptional watch on his wrist. This especially becomes worth watching when he lifts his winning trophies, revealing his luxury watch. Throughout his nine-year partnership with the company, the former world number one has worn both contemporary and vintage Rolex timepieces including a rose gold day date 2 at Wimbledon in 2012 and a steel and white gold sky dweller when he won his 20th Grand Slam championship in January 2018. When Roger raised his 18th Grand Slam trophy in 2017, he also made the headlines by donning a Rolex GMT Master II Batman. The Batman model's black and blue bezel was prominently displayed as he basked in victory on the Australian Open's blue courts. Is anyone else jealous? <laughs> if you could have just one of these eight celebrities' watches, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, Luxcats. Until next time.